Hi everyone, good afternoon and good evening. Welcome to the reading practice session. I hope all of you are doing good. So let's begin with today's guest. Am I audible to all of you? Thank you. So let's begin with today's test and you will be given two and a half minutes for reading writing questions. Please make sure that you are timing yourself and then you have to post your answers in the chat box once you are done and then we will have the discussion on each question two times. Make sure that you are taking notes, you're noting down everything that you feel can help you in solving your questions in a better, better way. And then after that, you can ask your queries if you have any or anything if I have missed to talk about or discuss. So here is the test on your screens. And here is your first question. Two and a half minutes for this and then share your answers, please.
all right should be done this i will term as a very very easy question easy language easy options and uh, i think most of you have got the 100% correct answer and those who haven't this should have been correct this is one of the questions which serve as time savers as well as they give you a 100% score so dash to facebook is free of charge we all almost use facebook and what to facebook is free we don't approach facebook approaches to request facebook for something we have access to facebook that we can just download the application and access the website access the application we don't make any request to facebook as a company and access is more than required so yes all of you are correct in selecting access means we can uh, use the application free of charge and the company earns most of its money from advertisements new users can create profiles upload photos join a pre-existing group and start new groups the site has many components dash timeline second one is status and the third one is news feed that means they have given us the examples of the components so generally when we give examples we say components such as but we don't have such as here another way of giving examples is by using the word including the difference between such as and and including is generally that when we put such as we don't really put a comma before that but here if you can see there's a comma before the blank and that is why maybe they have not given us such as as the option but even if it is there you will go with including because there's a comma before the blank so including is another way to give examples and the components were timeline status and news feed and then they had described them users can chat with each other and send dash private messages so like we normally send messages to each other on facebook and send we already have a verb so we don't need a verb implement now where's the third one sorry status which dash users to alert friends to their current location so status would be considered as a singular noun so we need a verb with s here status with implement is without s setup is without s so these cannot be the answer status which authorizes authorizes means gives permission like i have authorized the access to your authorize means given and status enables so if i have uploaded or i have put any status on facebook that status is not giving anybody any kind of permission but that status makes you makes it possible for you to know my current location or situation so enable means to make it able so status enables users to alert friends to their current location or situation users can chat with each other and send dash private messages send around but we are talking about private messages private messages not what we send around means everybody send each other makes sense all together means 100% and everybody cannot be private messages so send each other private messages and then they say users can signal their approval of content on facebook with a like button other services that are part of meta platforms are instagram a photo and video sharing social network and then we have a messenger an instant messaging dash and then whatsapp so what is a messenger it's an instant messaging function exercise application or operation again a very easy general life thing that messenger is an application which we download on our devices and then we can use it so it's not an exercise or operation rather it's one of the applications that we have just like whatsapp instagram so these are the answers the first one is access to facebook access means the use and the second one they were giving examples so when we give examples we use such as including we can also use consisting of but we cannot use consist of with a comma for using consist of we need a plural noun before that for example we can say um there are many applications consisting of 1 2 and 3 so that can be consisting of if we don't have such as an including but otherwise consisting is not used to give examples consisting is used to show what is included in something so that's a different uh, way that we use word consist then status is singular so status does not authorize so status does not give us permission but status makes it able so that will be enable 
and we can send each other private messages and messenger is a message messaging application any confusions or queries anyone in this question after comma if you need a verb it should be ing form of verb right okay so here you have question number two on your screens and you have two and a half minutes to post your answers Okay, anybody left to post the answer, please do that. So the first sentence says, guardian is a person legally dash with supervision of another who is ineligible to manage his own affairs. Usually that person is a child. So most of you have written assigned 
as the answer assigned means allocated and assigned is used when you are allocated a duty or a job what is the difference between assigned and entrusted entrusted means when you are given the responsibility of a person then you use the word entrusted over assigned because as i said assigned means allocation of a duty it can be allocation of a work to be done it is not always related to a human being for example uh, the duty can be to pick up all the chairs in the room that is also work assigned but that is not entrusted because entrusted specifically goes with uh, giving the responsibility of a human being of a person so that is why the answer here is entrusted because guardianship has to do with the responsibility of a human being of another another means another person committed comes with committed to and given is a very general word guardians fulfill the state's role as substitute parent dash for whom guardianships are established are called wards so here the we have those or these what is the difference we have already done this number of times these means when you are referring to someone you have already talked about in the previous sentences so if you say these those who have written these tell me what are who are those people if you are saying these these means already talked about but you haven't talked about these people now till now you are talking about these people in this particular sentence so if the explanation is given after the blank then we always go with those those for whom guardianships are established so these are the people we are referring to and they are given after the blank not before the blank so it will be those for whom guardianships are established are called wards guardianships for others than children are usually established by courts for the property or persons of the insane or those otherwise dash of handling their own affairs so either the people are insane insane means they are not mentally fit mentally they are not mentally stable or any otherwise dash of handling their own affairs so otherwise also they are not able to handle their affairs we have unfitted fitted is not a, a word i think the past form of fit is also fit unfitted no effective or ineffective is not a word we use for human beings they are unable to handle their affairs or they are incapable now what is the difference between unable and incapable let's say i'm very i'm running very busy and i'm not taking the class so i will say i was unable to take the class because of some other work but that doesn't make me incapable to take the class incapable means i don't have the required knowledge i don't have the required strength mental physical or any other way that i cannot take the class because i am not of that um, qualification or not of that experience that is incapability now here we are saying that people who are insane or who are incapable means you cannot it's not that they are not they cannot take care of their affairs so those people are given guardians by courts not a person who's just busy is given a guardian guardianships appeared in ancient rome dash the inheritance laws so with the word law we always use the preposition under we don't say in the law we always say under the law this thing is written then they say modern french and german civil codes have tied guardianships dash to family considerations this is kind of a collocation tied word generally goes with tied closely like you might have heard i have close ties with him so close and ties go together and the same thing is uh, here codes have tied closely to family considerations it's not similarly you don't have similar ties to someone or careful ties with someone but you have close ties with someone if you are closely connected to a person so these are the answers the difference between assigned can be any work or a duty or job but entrusted is particularly giving getting the responsibility of a human being of a person second these comes if you have already talked about those people and those come if your explanation is given after the blank third one the difference between unable and incapable unable can be because of any reasons like you are busy or unable to take the class incapable means you cannot you are not of that qualification and have the required knowledge experience capability so guardians are given to people who have some who lack something in them 
and with the law uh, with the word law we always say under the law we never say uh, for the law along the law or with the law or in the law or on the law any other preposition doesn't go with law it's always uh, laws comes with the preposition under the last one tied comes with closely it's a collocation tied closely these two words come together dil preet kaur this class is not to be explained in hindi this is only english explanation here so now prabhjot have you got the meaning of interested any other confusion anybody in this particular question So question number three on your screens and you have two and a half minutes to solve this. Please post your answers in the chat box.
All right, anybody left to post the answer? Okay, how will you fill this sentence? Um, history dash back to first century. Will we say history had dated back? Because history is a current subject. So we always say that this thing dates back because from the current time, we are dating that thing back to the ancient time or previous time or dating back something to history. So when you talk about that, this thing uh, dates back to 19th century, this thing dates back to second century, you always use present tense dates. Don't, we don't say had dated. If you say had dated, that will mean right now it does not date back to that ancient time, which is wrong. Everything dates back to history and it will always date back to the same date. If something started in the first century, five years after, five years later also, I will say that this thing started in the first century. So how can we say it had dated to a first century? So no matter what time it is, everything dates back to its starting. So it's always written in present tense. Even Vampum was the target of counterfeiters. Forgery proved such a huge problem dashed the world that harsh penalties were enacted. So something negative because they say it's a problem dashed the world. About the world is things about the world. Along means with precisely is very, very minute. And around the world is the collocation. So around the world means everywhere. We are not talking about one particular part of the world. We are talking about it was a problem around the world. So many countries, so many places were facing this problem. Chinese currency from about the 14th century carried the warning that counterfeiters would be decapitated. And England was known for punishing perpetrators by burning them at the stake. In the American colonies too, death greeted early counterfeiters. So they have given us the examples that this was in America also, this was happening in China also, everywhere there was this problem of counterfeiters and very severe penalties, harsh penalties were given that people were uh, given death penalty. They were burnt, they were given death penalty. So they, it means it was very, very severe. Dash measures were taken to prevent forgeries. So how many measures? A few. A few means not many. Some measures, numerous or many. So numerous and many are synonyms. Many is common word. Numerous is a bit more academic than many. So we'll go with numerous measures because we don't know exactly how many measures. So we cannot say that only some measures were taken or we cannot say not many measures were taken. If it is such a big problem, then obviously numerous measures would have been taken. And also this is a problem in every part of the globe. So everywhere they will be uh, definitely taking some measures. So there will be numerous measures were taken. Ben Franklin, who owned a firm that printed money for several colonies, notably misspelled Pennsylvania. Misspelled Pennsylvania, believing that counterfeiters would correct the error in their forgeries. Today, anti-counterfeiting measures are dash elaborate. So till this sentence they were talking about past what used to happen about counterfeiting or to counterfeiters to the people who used to do this forgery and then we are comparing it with today today anti-counterfeiting measures are elaborate so whenever we make a comparison we go with second form of verb v2 and let's see many more but the measures many more we are not counting them much more we are talking about how elaborate means how many things they have written in them how many different kinds of laws we have made regarding them so it will be much more because we are comparing these measures to the past that right today we have much more elaborated measures greater comes with the size of something so we are not saying the size uh, the measures are big or small and very is a word which means like much more, but very is used in verbal language. We should always avoid the word very in written language because very word is not considered as an academic word. For example, the $20 bill has raised printing and a watermark and security threat that are visible when the note is held to the light. 
dash penalties for counterfeiting have relaxed so earlier the penalties were very severe very harsh people were given death penalties and now we say the penalties have relaxed so this is the contrast to what we previously said and whenever we give a contrast we always go with however the second hint that however is the answer because despite does not come with the comma since does not come with the comma and hence is used when we give a conclusion of the whole paragraph whatever we have said we conclude that whole of the thing then we say hence but here we are not concluding the whole of the thing we are just talking about one of the things which is penalties were severe and now penalties have relaxed then they have given the example also in the us the maximum prison sentence is 20 years whereas earlier they said that in america they were given death sentence that's a big difference just 20 years and straight away death that's why we will go with however because they were giving the contrast so the first we always say that something dates back to because the starting date can never change with respect to the current scenario so it will always be dates back no matter what is the topic going on second around the world is a general collocation general phrase that, that we use when we want to say something is happening in lots of parts of the world uh, the third one dash measures were taken so it was happening everywhere in the world so obviously there will be many measures taken and many means numerous measures and then we compared the today's scenario of counterfeiting with the earlier past so that's why we'll go with more second form of work and we were not counting them we are saying that it is much more elaborate much more in detail so details are not which are counted so we'll say they're much more detailed now lengthier and the last one was a comparison that earlier there were severe harsh penalties of death however now the penalties have relaxed means a contrast in the information right any confusions anybody no doubts in this question so the first one whenever we date something to past it will always be in present tense navjeet we always say this thing dates back to the time period or this thing dates back to first century second century or any event this thing dates back to the first revolution it will always be dates present tense because the the connection of present to past can never change if something started in the first century it will always be said that this started in the first century so we'll say this thing dates back to because every date will date back to the same date right i hope it's clear now no problem so question number 4 on your screens 2 and a half minutes for this natik how many classes have you attended how many these classes have you attended i have seen your name first time is this your first class so you have to attend 15 to 20 of these lectures first of all then there are basic grammar videos that you have to watch before starting these classes see reading takes time will breathe please understand reading takes time it's not something that you will uh, get to know in one day or two or three classes to improve in reading you have to start from the basics so there are basics videos on the dashboard of your language academy portal all of you who have not watched those videos you have to first watch those videos so that you understand what is active passive what is connector what is conjunction and all the basics that are used in this what are adjectives what are adverbs how to identify nouns how to understand tenses so all these things are the basics of solving these questions so first you have to watch those videos and then you have to start attending these classes on regular basis at least 15 to 20 at least before you could um, appear for your test but these are not the only things plus you have to complete as much of your portal as you can i generally advise students to complete 80% of their portal before they appear for your test so these are all the things but you have to do them in order start with the first step first and then 
keep going ahead right okay so question on your screen two and a half minutes All right, this is enough time to solve. Let's discuss. So this says with Frederick Froebel, the German founder of the kindergarten, there arose the first systematic theory of early childhood pedagogy, dash considering early schooling a form of babysitting, 
or social philanthropy or considering it merely a period of preparation for adult roles. So when even if we don't understand uh, what they're trying to say in the first sentence, when you will read the next following sentences, we understand that this person was in favor of early childhood education. Like he wanted to say that there's a lot kind of education even in early childhood. It's not just babysitting and it's not just preparation for adult roles. Baby, um, the time period, the early childhood period in itself is a different phase that children learn a lot, they express a lot, and it's not just waiting for them to become adults. This was the whole context of the paragraph. So they say there arose the first theory of early childhood pedagogy, dash considering it just babysitting. So this is picking up the easy words to understand what the relation of the sentence is. So the answer was uh, instead of means he made the first theory of early childhood that there's a proper theory in it. It's just not babysitting. So instead of just babysitting or instead of just a period of, see, they have used the word merely. Merely means just a period of preparation for adult roles. Frobel saw early childhood development as a special dash during which the child expresses himself through play. So he said, this is not like this. It's just not babysitting. It's just not preparation for adult roles. It is a very special dash. During which, during is always used when you have a time period because during shows something that should happen in continuity. And when we look at the options, they say, Frobel saw early childhood development as a special dash during which special phase, phase is a time period, a period of time. Condition is one point of time. Affecting is not a noun as a special state. State also is one point of time thing. What is the current state? That's, that has nothing to do with the continuity of time. So that's why the answer was phase. It's a very special phase because it's for one, two, three, four years of life during which the child expresses himself through play. Child's play was a process of dash and recognition that educated the child to the unity as well as the diversity of things in nature. So language was easy to understand. Many of you have selected detection and I believe it's just because you wanted to select T-I-O-N with T-I-O-N. That's the first uh, instinct, first thing that you should see and you have done good if you have uh, told yourself that okay t-i-o-n comes with t-i-o-n but the second thing is also that you have to check whether that t-i-o-n makes sense or not like here they are saying child's play was a process of detection if there are four or five children playing what are we detecting in that detection word is used when we find out something which was lost which is not visible which is invisible or which is a uh, kind of not showing up that that's when we use the word detection like we say detection of uh, minerals under the rocks so we are trying to find that out but child's play was a process of detection doesn't make any sense rather discovery because when children play they discover new things they they discover um language they discover uh, expression they discover feelings so these are the things learnings a lot of learning so that is discovery and recognition so they recognize a lot of things that what is unity what is diversity what are the things in nature like recognition of alphabets just like in schools so these educational premises guided frobel's pedagogical institute at this place but it was not until 1837 at nearby Bad Blankenburg that he opened his first infant school, which he later called a kindergarten or garden for children. There he devised a dash of geometric playthings. So what did, or gifts as he called them. So there he devised a dash of playthings. So at a kindergarten school, what there will be a dash of playthings. So there will be a collection. He'll have lots of, there won't be a selection of playthings, rather it will be collection of playthings and then Frobel believed that young child learned best not dash formal instruction but through play and imitation so the answer was given in the sentence itself that children don't learn best through formal instruction but rather they learn through play and imitation so this I will say that this is a kind of question um, 
in which there was a more need of understanding what the context tried to say. We need to bit of interpret what the topic is going on because um, this would not be very much based on grammar. Rather, this would be based on understanding. So it's very rare that we get these kind of questions in the exam. It's not always that you get um, interpretation questions or understanding questions in the exam, but it is possible once in a while. So you should be preparing yourself for these kind of questions as well. So the first answer was again based on context that it's a first theory that he framed on early childhood instead of just thinking that early childhood is just babysitting and it's nothing more than that. So that's why it is instead of. The second one, because they have used the word during, so we have to go with something which is a time period and out of the given options, condition and state are not time periods, but phase is a time period. Third one, child's play was a process of detection doesn't make sense because children don't detect anything, try to find anything. It's a process of discovery. Finding cannot be the answer because finding is not a noun and we need a noun here. A process of what and what. So whenever the question is what, the answer is always a noun. If uh, we could have uh, selected finding, if they would have written recognizing, if they are using verb form, then you can also go with verb form. And the fourth one there in the school, he devised the dash of playthings. So obviously there will be a collection. There will be a lot of toys for children. So collection of playthings. And uh, the last one was easy to get through the sentence only that the child, young children learn best, not through instruction, but through playing. I never advise uh, students to miss uh, lines or miss sentences um, from the paragraph. I always advise them that read the whole paragraph. Don't skip anything. Though I always say that the sentences in which there are no blanks, you can read them at a faster speed as compared to the speed that you should read the sentences with blanks, but never skip. That's, that's not a good idea to skip in between. Right, all good with this question? I'll have a look at it, uh, Mohammed, after the class finishes. So the, when is compile used? Compile is used when, for example, I say, compile this information, like put together to whatever the different things you have, uh, put them together to make one thing that is compile. Like compile the pages, to form a book so that that can be compiled. Fifth and the last question for reading writing blanks and you have two and a half minutes to solve this.
many of you have missed the rule of uh, facts facts are always written in simple present tense if you would have read the paragraph carefully there are lots of facts that they have written in simple present tense for example if i just look at one sentence they have said forced migrations involve people who have been because they are telling us what is forced migration and whenever you give the definition of something whenever you say okay forced migration is this thing it's always in present tense because the meaning of forced migration cannot change whatever the meaning of forced migration is today it will stay the same tomorrow and it was the same yesterday so it's not a tense based blank so write down this rule for your help that facts definitions are always given in simple present tense migrations fall dash several broad categories so whenever we say something is divided or something falls we always say in two categories so with the noun categories we always use the a preposition into three categories four categories many categories always comes with into first internal and international migration may be distinguished dash any country there are movements of individuals and families from one area to another from rural to cities so from rural to cities means in the same country they are migrating so in the country will mean within the country means they are not going out of the country within the country staying inside the country there are movements those are called internal movements and this is distinct from movements from one country to another why we cannot say via via means through the route like you can reach sydney via the tunnel via means through by passing something including any country so it's not about including country in something and throughout is used when you want to say everywhere then you use the word throughout here we don't want to say everywhere any country we want to say either in one particular country within the country within is used when we always want to put a limit that not to cross the boundary that is when we use the word within second so this was the first type of migration they have explained now the second type of migration migration may be dash or forced so two types one is forced the other one is voluntary which was given in the very next sentence that they are comparing forced and voluntary and that is why the answer is voluntary here so most voluntary migration whether internal or external dash in search of better economic opportunities or housing so now they are giving the definition of voluntary migration voluntary migration dash in search of better economic opportunities so it should be in present tense has happened means it has finished in the present scenario existed means past tense took place means past tense what is present here is undertaken because is shows this is how it is done right now as well so voluntary migration is undertaken in search of better economic opportunities like they have uh, explained forced migrations also in present tense forced migrations involve people they didn't say have involved people or has involved people or involved the people because everything will mean it is now not right like this which is wrong so usually involve people who have been expelled by governments during war or other political upheavals or who dash forcibly transported so again following the tense who have been is what they are using and we will also go with the same who have been transported as slaves or prisoners because we need present tense so had cannot come had is not even given here has cannot come because we are talking about plural people has comes with singular and have comes with plural suffix are being means right now in front of you they are being transported so that's not our case we are saying that whenever forced migration happens then people who have been transported fall under this category are going to be means this is going to happen in the future like i said facts are always given in present tenses not past or future tenses right so these are the answers with categories we always say into categories the second one within the country because we want to say this definition uh, internal migration is only for people who stay inside the country do not go out of the country that is within third one based on the context they were comparing voluntary with forced we from the next sentence we got to know that they are comparing voluntary so that's why we selected voluntary then fourth one was completely 
uh, a definition and explanation a fact so it should be with is am are not with has have had something and the last one just following the tense that they have already written in the sentence who have been expelled or who have been transported so we have to follow the same tense and it should be present tense obviously any confusions in this anyone so for 65 your total um, score should be 70% in blanks minimum so whatever you're getting 20 out of 25 just convert it into a percentage and see if you're consistently getting 70 you should be it should be good for uh, exams optional see it cannot be optional because they are not uh, explaining optional here they are comparing forced and voluntary so voluntary means with your own wish that's not that cannot be called optional so don't think like this navjeet because then the whole paragraph has to be changed if we think that uh, uh, one one word has to be changed then it doesn't make sense with the rest of the statements as well so don't consider that as your option. Okay, so we are moving on to reorders. This is your first question. You have two minutes and then post your answers, please. found it confusing you must have missed the words 
such topics means you have to first talk about some topic these stories so there should be stories coming before this sentence the first sentence was not d it was b because b is more general b is broader than d d sentence is only talking about vaccine b sentence is talking about the year's most looked up word in merriam webster which is a dictionary might seem an obvious selection but the story behind the numbers is complex it can be any word so how can you first start with vaccine and then you say that a word in the dictionary was uh, years most looked up word which word is it you have already talked about the word so you always have to see which sentence is general and then go with the specific one so first you will say that this year's most looked up word in merriam webster might seem an obvious selection but the story behind the numbers is complex and then you start the story which is the vaccine was both the biggest science event of the year and one of the most polarizing issues then such topics scientific information about such topics as efficacy and boosters was often accompanied by debates over mandates and workers rights so here such topics was given for efficacy and boosters but this can only come after you say that you had issues and only then you will talk about what were the issues there were debates for mandate mandatory um, rule of vaccination and there were debates about workers rights so these were the issues and then comes these stories dominated the news these stories means efficacy boosters mandates workers rights all these stories dominated the news and helped make vaccine one of the defining words of our time so this was the story this is ending up at the conclusion that that is why it became the most looked up word defining words of our time this was kind of a story going on first you say that there is a word which is the most looked up and then you start the story that how it became so popular word right okay let's move on to the second one two minutes for this and then share your answers
again missed the hints. Some of you have missed this word other schools here. How can you say other schools when you haven't talked about any school? And some of you have missed and here. And shows this is a continuity of the previous sentence, previous story. And you have written it at number two. The first sentence is the topic facebook.com, which was launched in February 2004. And then some of you have said and that same year major corporations. You just said that Facebook was launched in 2004. Nothing else has happened. The second sentence was A, where they say Harvard students who signed up for the service could post photographs of themselves and personal information, such as their class schedules and clubs they belong to. So Harvard students could do this only. Then its popularity increased and soon students from other schools. This is making continuation. First, you talked about one school, Harvard, and then you said students from other schools, such as Yale and Stanford universities were allowed to join. And then you keep on talking about students. By June 2004, more than 250,000 students from 34 schools had signed up because you were talking about students, students, you will finish the topic of students. And then you will say, and that same year, major corporations such as credit card company, MasterCard started paying for exposure on the site. The rule is if there are two different topics going on, then the send the topic which has more number of sentences comes first. For example, you had three st sentences on school students and one sentence on credit card company. So first it will be about school students that you will finish and then you will talk about the credit card company because you don't have anything to continue after that. Right? <clears throat> Any confusion, anybody? All right, this should have been a full score question. Who has got a full mark in that, in question number two? Good, Manu, well done. The third and the last question for the orders, Tamanna, very well done. Uh, two minutes to solve this and then share your answers.
So whenever you select your first sentence, how to check whether the sentence you have selected is right or not. Like some of you have selected A as the first sentence. So according to you, if you are selecting A as the first sentence, you want to say that your story is your the story in the following sentences is about Chinese emperor. Is the story about Chinese emperor or Chinese emperor is just one example. The story is about the topic which is in most of the sentences. So the story was about currency. The story was about leather used as currency, not about leather used as currency in China. That was one example that they gave that Chinese used to make currency from something and something. So first of all, the sentence E was your topic because here you are giving the general that what is the topic about the 6th century BCE leather and animal hide began to be fashioned into currency that people started using leather and animal hide for currency purposes. This is the topic. Now 6th century BCE they are not talking about one particular place or country or area. So this is general that this talks about everywhere or anywhere this is possible. And also, like I said, you should check that, okay, my topic is about this. And then read the other sentences. All of your sentences should get inside that one topic of Chinese emperor. But that's not there. You're talking about other things as well. So the first sentence is this. And the second one, early ancient Rome reportedly used this type of currency, this type of money. Which type of? This type of leather and animal hide. So that was a direct reference, this type of money. Now, in this sentence, you said Rome. Rome is what? A place. And that is why C should be the third one because they said it was also found in areas. Means you are talking about more places. So also always comes with the next example. You said it is found in Rome. It is also found here. So that is the also is always a very, very important word because it gives you one mark for sure because you match two similar sentences. It was also found in what is now France and Russia is believed to have used leather money into Peter the Great's reign. So first explained leather. And now they are going to describe about animal height. So the sequence in which the words are written also makes a difference. If they have said leather first so they will explain leather first and then you will explain animal height so then the story of animal height began the chinese emperor created currency out of skins from his personal collection of white stacks so that is skin of animals and then it was fringed and decorated with elaborate design so it means the skin that he used fringed and he decorated that with elaborate designs. That's the story of animal hide. And the last one, finishing, although no longer used, leather money may have left a lasting legacy. Some believe it gave rise to the use of buck as slang for dollar. So the finishing, that it's not now used, but it has a lasting legacy. Legacy is something, a good history. So things to be noted, Find the broadest sentence first and then um, have a look at the order in which if there are two things, then they will be explained in order. The first thing first, the second thing second. And also is a very important word in the orders. Never miss that. What is it, Prabhupada? Four, what? Four marks or what? fourth sentence so c was sorry e was first b second c third four a so four that's why i am telling you that you have to take care about the order the first story of leather finishes so the second story starts the sentences might not be connected to each other but you have to go with the sequence that first you have finished the leather thing and then you start the animal height story that is when you have uh, two topics in uh, the first sentence and you explain one by one. So in real exam, there are eight to 10 marks for the orders. Depends upon the number of questions you get. But overall, eight to 10.
Okay, let's move on to reading blanks. So here is your first question. You have two minutes to solve this and then post your answers, please. Okay, let's begin the discussion. Santa Claus isn't the world's only Christmas visitor. Dash countries have their own traditional holiday colors. So what we have in capitals is many countries or much countries. So countries is a countable noun. Much comes with uncountable things. So we will select many countries have their own traditional holiday colors. Italian children look forward to a visit from this La Befana, a witch who brings presents to good boys and girls at the end of the Christmas season. Her backstory differs, dash variations in folklore. So backstory means what's the real story? It's different, differs, dash variations in folklore. Now folklore would be poetry, songs, uh, stories, novel writing. So there are difference in how the past has been written. So her story differs according to the variations. And variations means differences. There are differences in the past story and that is why her story differs. One story dash that she was invited by the three wise men. So one story is singular. So we need a verb with S and we had two, I think, yes. One so story suggests or one story relates, but relates come with the word two and we don't have two here. Relates to something, but we don't have two. So we will go with suggests. One story suggests that she was invited by the three wise men to visit the ch Christ child, but declined because she had too much housework. Dash her decision, she now travels the world on a broom. 
So what we have in capitals is allowing her decision or regretting her decision. So there's, we cannot allow our decision, but we can regret. Regret is you feel sorry for your decision. She now travels the world on a broom dash gifts as she searches for Jesus. So she travels on a broom carrying gifts or bearing gifts. So gifts can be carried. Gifts cannot be uh, we cannot say bearing gifts, so it will be carrying gifts as she searches for children. Some of you have written relates, so please note that relates come with two. We don't have two, so we cannot put relates. Rest, almost all of you have got the right answers. Any questions, anyone? All good? Good, Amna. Well done. Second question, two minutes and then post your answers.
Manu very well done in selecting the first answer. I am surprised to see only you have got the first one correct and Safi. So this says most people realize that women are underrepresented in STEM fields, the sentence finishes, but dash women are actually less well represented in economies. Comma, there seems to be little dash of how bad things are in that field. Why is there a comma? That means there are two parts in this sentence. And before you select an answer, you need to understand the connection between these two sentences. Are they two uh, going on the same side? Are they two going contrasting to each other? Before you understand that information, that relation, you cannot really select your answer. So they say, but dash women are actually less well represented in econ economics. There seems to be little dash of how bad things are in that field. And the answer was even though. So even though means that yes, we accept even though there are actually less representation of women, but there is no, there is little dash of how bad things are. There is little awareness means they just know one thing that women are less represented, but there is no awareness of how bad the things are. There are other bad things also and nobody's focusing on that. They, they just know that there is less representation and the story finishes. They don't know what bad things are there in that field. So the comma in between a sentence always uh, conveys that there are two parts and those two parts are connected with each other. Now you have to find out how are they two connected. So they say, yes, even though women are actually less well represented, but there seems little awareness, but there is no awareness to anybody about this. The field of economics is dominated by men in terms of both faculty and students with dispropor disproportionately dash women and members of historically underrepresented groups. So they say the field is dominated by men, disproportionately dash women and members of some group. So how many women? They are saying their field is dominated by men and how many women are there? So obviously we'll say Few women are there because they say dominance is of men. So with few women and members of dash and ethnic groups, you can always eliminate the LY words to finalize your answer because LY words cannot help you in any way. So if you read the previous sentence, the field of economics is dominated by men with dash women and members. So with few women and members of dash and ethnic groups so that means we need a word to describe groups first group is ethnic type of group what is the other type of group so any word which can tell us a type of a group which is racial because ethnic also means something related to a basis of uh, uh, what we say what we call it discrimination and racial is also a basis of discrimination and they say they racial and ethnic groups relative to the dash population. So relative to the overall population means compared with the overall population, we only have few women from ethnic groups and racial groups. So overall population means out of the total number of people that we have in the, in the economics field, there are only few women and few members of racial and ethnic groups. So these are the answers. The first one you need to understand whenever there is a comma, you need to understand the two sentences. Only then you can find out your answer. Second one is again based on context. Third, the field is dominated by men with few women, obviously, and two types of groups. One is ethnic group, one is racial group. And relative to means compared to the overall population. Right? bit difficult okay i'll mark this question as bit more than average kind of question good safi well done okay third question and you have two minutes
those who have selected greater as their answer please uh, note down the uses of different forms of verbs v2 is used for comparison when you have than written in the sentence or if the sentence is comparing two things this sentence says south sudan was originally the southern part of Sa sudan which dash had become independent in 1956 and all of you are right in selecting which itself had become independent in 1956 after being ruled by Egypt and Great Britain. The population of Sudan was quite diverse, with a difference between the populations of the northern and southern parts of Sudan. And you have said with a greater difference. Greater is second form of verb, V2. And V2 comes when you are making a comparison between two types of differences and you're saying this difference is greater than the other difference. So you need than written after when you put V2, second form of verb. So here we are not making any comparison between two different types of differences. The answer was striking difference. Striking means a very big difference. And that's a collocation as well. We say striking contrast, striking difference between the populations of the northern and the southern parts of Sudan. The north was dominated by Islam, most of whom spoke Arabic and identified as Arab, while the people of the south tended to be of African groups, adherents of Christianity or African religions, and speakers of various African languages who came to use English as a primary language. Speakers of various African languages. So they are African groups only and they are speaking African languages. So what type of African languages means their own language, obviously, because they belong to Africa. So their own language would be called indigenous language means their own. The pre and post independence administrations, which were based in the north, had trouble dash acceptance by all of the diverse political constituencies. So with the noun acceptance, what is the verb generally used? We use the verb gain with acceptance. Gain acceptance, gained acceptance, gaining acceptance, any form of gain always goes with a noun acceptance. And then they say all of the political constituencies dash those in the south. Now out of all, we are picking up just the south one. So we'll say all of the political constituencies particularly those in the south means specially specifically that these words are used and you want to pick one group from the total all over the other groups these are the answers the first one itself which i believe was very very obvious we didn't have any other option fitting striking difference is a collocation greater cannot come because there is not a comparison of two differences Third one, African groups speaking African language will be their own language. So you should go with indigenous. Gain and acceptance come together. And whenever we pick up one group or one thing out of the group, then you use the word particularly, specifically, whatever is given. Like here we had particularly. Any confusions in this question, anybody? Good, very well done, getting a full score. Fourth one, two minutes for this and then post your answers.
even I was confused uh, to put in take in the second one, but then I kept the option open for the other blanks as well, and that helped me. This is what I'll advise uh, to you as well. Even if you put something in the first blank, keep that option open for other blanks as well. Because if you don't consider it for the other blanks, you might make two mistakes, which you could have saved if you will consider all the options for all the blanks. Good news for those of us who can't face the day without their morning flat white. A long-term study dash. So studies generally reveal things. And yes, you are right saying that a study has revealed drinking higher amounts of coffee dash make you less likely to develop Alzheimer's disease. So it was May here. I put both May and intake, but I kept the options open and then intake was required in some in the other blank. So that uh, solved my confusion that this should come with May. As part of the Australian Imaging Biomakers and Lifestyle Study of Aging, researchers from Edith University investigated whether coffee dash affected the rate of cognitive decline, whether coffee intake, whether taking coffee, whether uh, drinking coffee, whether intake of coffee affected the rate of cognitive decline for more than 200 Australians dash a decade. So decade is a period of time. With period of time, we say during or we say over. So over means for all those 10 years. Lead investigator Dr. Samantha said results showed an association between coffee and dash important markers. Sentence is complete association between coffee and important markers, but still we have a blank. So what kind of important markers? Uh, major is already the same way like important. So we are left with several. So we can say several important markers because they have said plural. So we can say several markers related to Alzheimer's disease. Right, good Amna, well done. Any confusion, anybody in this question? All good? All right, so these were all the questions that we had to do today. Coffee, Bhuvan. No, consuming cannot be the answer. It could have been consumption. Whether coffee consumption affected the rate. Cannot be coffee consuming affected the rate. Or the, uh, or the other way it could have been consuming coffee affected. But not coffee consuming. Right? So these were the questions for today. And I hope you would have noted a lot of things. You would have um learned something and we do have a class tomorrow at the same time 6 30 p.m according to sydney time so please make sure that you are attending the classes regularly see for overall uh, seven ajit there's nothing like we can say you should be scoring this much in each section because let's say you're getting 19 one or 18 one and you're getting something in uh, 50s in the other still you can it can be an overall seven so that overall seven has nothing to do with individual marking you should try that you're getting uh, each seven minimum uh, in your practice that can guarantee you an overall seven but if you feel like one of the modules is your strength and you can score very very good in that so that can definitely compensate the the lower score in the other section, right?